In this video, I'll be deriving the expression of the Laplacian in different coordinate systems. So first of all, what is the Laplacian? Well, what it's usually denoted is del dot del, sometimes del squared, and sometimes written as a delta. And what it is, is precisely just this first one. It's the gradient dotted with itself. So it's the sum from i equals 1 until n of the derivatives, of all of the partial derivatives squared. So if you don't know, the gradient here is the vector of all partial derivatives. And so the Laplacian is this dotted with itself. So it's all the, all the partial derivatives squared summed up together, which is the Laplacian. Okay, so now how can I convert this into different coordinates? Say let's want to convert it from the coordinate system x1 to xn, the standard coordinate system, to say y1 to yn. Okay. Well, let's first convert the partial derivatives, and then we can move that up to the second order partial derivatives, and so on and so forth. So the partial derivative in respect to x, i, is actually going to be equal to the partial derivative of y, j, in respect to x, i, times the partial derivative in respect to y, j. Here we're using the Einstein summation convention. So we're summing over all j there. This is just the chain rule. Okay, this is just a fancy way of saying the multivariable chain rule. So how about we square it? So we do del squared on del xi squared, which by definition is equal to del on del xi applied to del on del xi. And then plugging in for the definition of del on del xi, for that first one, this is going to be del on del xi applied to this, which is del yj on del xi times del on del yj. Now what should we do with this? Well, the obvious answer is to do the product rule. So I'm going to move it up here. Product rule. We're going to have del on del xi applied on to del y j on del xi. Multiply this by del on del y j. Then after that we add del y j on del xi times del on del xi applied to del on del y j. This is just simple product rule. Partial derivative applied to the first value times the second value, and then the first value times the partial derivative applied to the second value. Okay, and then from here, it's going to be equal to, that right there is just del squared yj on del xi squared. That's just the definition of that. Multiply that by del on del yj. Okay, then after that we're going to have plus del yj on del xi times this right here I can use the definition again. So the definition here is that I do del y. Now I'm going to replace j with k. And that's because I'm already using j here and I don't want to confuse myself. So this is going to be del yk on del xi and then multiply that by del on del y k, because we have a k there, we move the k there, and then we apply this on del on del y j, but that's just putting a del on del y j on the bottom, squaring the top. That's just the definition there. If you don't see how I got this, the step was that I started off with this, and then I just made it into this. Okay, so now let's sum over all of the i's. So the sum 
from i equals 1 to n of del squared on del xi squared. This is precisely the Laplacian. Well, then this is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of all this. Del squared yj on del xi squared times del on del yj. Then plus j, del yj on del xi times del yk on del xi times del squared on del yk del y. Jay, now technically, this is a way to do it. You could just sum over all that, but there's a simpler way to express this. And this is by just um, using the distributive law and excluding all the things that don't have an i in them. So then we're going to have the sum from i equals 1 to n of del squared on del xi squared. Uh, this is on yj. And then we multiply this by del on del yj, like this. Because del on del yj is not affected by i, so I could just move it out. And then plus, I'm going to have the sum from i equals 1 to n of del yj on del xi times del y k on del xi. And multiply that by del squared on del y k del y j. Because these don't depend on i, doesn't affect the sum, just distribute it out. But this, this right here, this has a simpler nature to it. This sum right here is just the Laplacian applied to yj multiplied by del on del yj. And then similarly, this right here is just the del of yk dot product with the del of yj and multiplied by del squared on del yk del yj. Look at that. Isn't that a simple notion on how to express it? But this won't help us when evaluating some examples because some you don't need to do this but if we're going to do some complex examples this is a nice expression all i need to calculate is this and this and then i instantly have it what i've done here is described an n-dimensional coordinate representation of the laplacian i've not done any examples i will leave the examples for you to calculate they're actually pretty easy except for like the hyperspherical coordinates. I will not be doing those, by the way. The derivation, I might do something like the Grassmannian, where I will prove this in a later date because it takes so long. Um, and that's it.